Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. So today we have a beer from Dogfish Head. This is their Lupa Luau IPA. Um, I'm a fan of Dogfish Head. I, it, you know, everyone, almost everything they have is pretty good. And I'm a huge fan of coconut. Coconut is one of my favorite, favorite flavors in stuff. I love eating coconut. It's all around good. First smell, not a lot of coconut, but it definitely smells like an IPA. Um, so I got a uh, pint glass here from, it's actually a terrapin pint glass, but it's from Mellow Mushroom. And I got this pint glass, um, I did a, a bike ride called Pints for Prostate Cancer. And it was a kind of awareness and fundraiser for, uh, for prostate cancer. A great event. They did it a couple of years and then they stopped. I don't know why, but there's two mellow mushrooms that were about, I don't know, seven miles apart or something like that. So you started off at one of them, rode to the other one, ate some breadsticks, maybe a couple slices of pizza, had a beer, then rode back to the second one where you had a lot more pizza and a lot more beer. It was a great event. So this beer definitely has some head. It's very cloudy toward the bottom. I wonder if I should have swirled it a little bit first. Although there's not a lot left in the in the bottle. Um, so on the on the label here it says uh, our coconut centric lupulin party. This IPA is brewed with a tropical trifecta of toasted coconut, experimental hops, and coconut water. Let's take a first sip. Oh, that's, that's pretty refreshing. It's not super hoppy. Oh, it has a great kind of citrus into pineapple and the coconut uh, finish. Really good. So this is a, uh, it's an IPA, it's an IPA 7.3%. It definitely doesn't feel like a 7.3% or taste like a 7.3%. 45 uh, on the IBU scale. And I would probably, I would have guessed less. I would have guessed high 30s, low 40s. I, I, I wouldn't even get me, I would say probably even low, maybe mid, mid, mid 30s to high 30s. Definitely not 45. I, it's definitely not bitter. Price on this is about uh, $14.99 for a six pack. So it's not the cheapest, but it's dog based Pretty much everything they do is not cheap. Um, man, this is fantastic. So. Smell it now, a little more of the, almost like a pineapple smell coming out. In your mouth, it has a very neutral, just refreshing feel. And then on the finish, it really transitions from like, a, almost like a citra hops to pineapple to a light coconut finish. Very, very nice and refreshing. Um, I got a, I did, I got an interesting story on do, doing some reading up a little bit on this beer. So Dogfish Head came up with the idea to do a super pale ale, super pale IPA. Um, this is how the story came about. Uh, one day the, the, the founder of Dogfish Head, Sam, was outside with a, excuse me, was outside with a coworker. And it was really sunny outside, and the co-worker was very pale, I guess. And so they were joking around about how pale the co-worker was. So Sam got to thinking, I should do a really, really pale beer. So they started playing around with some recipes and whatnot. And, that's, and then they found out how well coconut paired with the IPA. And when we started playing around with that, so this beer actually has coconut in it three ways. Um, it has uh, toasted coconut in it, dehydrated coconut water, which sounds kind of, uh, <laughs> if you take the water out of coconut water, I don't know, but anyway, dehydrated coconut water, um, and an experimental hop variety that includes a unique, a unique coconut and woody aroma. I'd say they've they've really done a great job with this beer.
I'm halfway through this, and it, it definitely it's 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 fairly light. Not getting really any heavy feeling at all. Cool label with the um, the coconut and the hops on there, the lime green and brown. Kind of cool in the traditional kind of dogfish head style. I was uh, I was down in South Florida having a beer with a couple of buddies, and uh, we were talking to one of the guys who had been to the Dogfish Head Brewery, and he was talking about it. Sounds like a cool place to visit. They sound very experimental. Um, pretty much anything is open. Like they'll, they'll try anything once, whether it's uh, you know I, I reviewed the um, the Dogfish Head. Uh, Palos and Moro um, Brown and that was really good and they made these uh, giant wood brewing vessels and they have the the, the Palos and Moro wood and they have the they have some oak ones there as well just doing stuff like that that's you know it's crazy that they're willing and they, they've done well so I guess they have the money to invest in projects like that a slight amount of lacing not a lot um, I'm not sure what causes lacing, but I don't think IPAs really have that chemical or whatever causes the lacing. We see it a lot in beers with like, um, that have lactose in them or, uh, on nitro maybe you might get more, more lacing. And the head is pretty much non-existent at this point. This is a beer, although it would be like a warm weather beer because it's the refreshing and the coconut and almost pineapple kind of kind of uh, beachy kind of flavors but I still I still feel that this might even be enjoyed a little better a couple degrees warmer I say that fairly often I should start drinking beer warmer this is probably in the very low 50s 50 51 degrees if I had a guess based on my uh, Previous videos where I've used the um, the thermopen, but yeah, th this is really good. So tonight I had a couple beers to uh, that I considered reviewing, and I still have the last beer of the Dewclaw three part series to review, the uh, eight sixty five or eight eighty five, um, which is a coffee stout. So. I thought I'd mention real quick. So when you're tasting beer, you don't want you want to have a fairly clean palate. So if you just ate something, even bread, which has a little bit of salt and yeast and stuff like that, and you taste a beer and it tastes yeasty, which sometimes I kind of like in a beer, but you don't know whether that's coming from the beer or that's coming from the bread. Water and unsalted crackers, like an unsalted saltine, is probably about your best bet for clearing your palate. And also too, if you're gonna taste multiple beers, you should go from light to dark, which is why I, I started with this one. So if I review the other beer, um, I'll be going from light to dark. And that kind of, your, your palate kind of, it's easier to trend that way than the other way. So when I finish this, I'll, um, I'll definitely wash my mouth out with some water, or you know, drink some water. I'll give it a few minutes to, for my taste buds to kind of settle down before I jump into the next beer. Still not a lot of coconut smell. It just kind of smells like a like a run-of-the-mill IPA. I thought that the hops are really mild on this for an IPA. Um, one of the more mild IPAs, but just 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 terrific all the way around. really like a, almost like a hint of tangerine, just a hint, into pi definite pineapple flavor, into the coconut finish. I would say, if you told me this is a pineapple beer, I, I would, I could, I could taste more pineapple, I think, than coconut. That may just be me, but, anyway. So, uh, cheers guys. See you in a few minutes.